Hello everybody, my name is Cole, also known as the Corn Star, and this is my 1917 farm mansion. And we're gonna completely remodel it. And you guys are coming with. But before we get started, I'll get you caught up to speed. My family has owned this house since 1939 when my great-grandfather bought the house and the 120 acres around the house for $7,000. The house has five bedrooms upstairs, five rooms downstairs, two staircases, a giant basement, and a huge attic. So my grandfather lived in this house his entire life. He was born in this house and he died in this house. So after he passed away, the house sat empty for a year while I was finishing up college. So now that I'm done with college, I moved in early May of 2019. And let's just say my grandpa was pretty old school. He had a lot of stuff because you know, you never know when you're gonna use something. This room doesn't have very much stuff in it. It won't take very long to clean out. This one's got quite a bit of stuff in it. We're making a good dent on this room. And then this room is not bad at all. That was empty when we started. We are slowly but surely making a dent. This is the entryway coming into the house. Big mess down here. Just a lot of clutter. This is the little hallway at the bottom of the inside stairs. This is my laundry room in the basement. I've never seen this room any cleaner than it is right now. And I am almost 22 years old. So it's been like this for a long time. Looks like they've been living up here for a little while. This attic is ginormous. <laughs> I have good news. The house is clean. Clean, clean. Just look at it. Clean, 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 and clean. Here we go on the new siding. We got a bunch done on the house today. She's been a big job. We got some new soffit up above. Got a good start on it anyhow. Just like that, we're back in the present. At the moment, the house is half sided. In the next few months, we're gonna finish siding it, but before we can do that, we need to finish the wraparound porch that's gonna go from that corner of the house all the way to that corner of the house. We were actually in the process of rebuilding this front porch this last summer, as we can see by the temporary supports here. And then we were gonna build on the new porch as we were doing this, but we got hit by a storm that made our construction efforts go elsewhere. So this got put on hold. If we look up high, we can see some plywood over that window. The storm knocked out the windows in the attic, and we also had some softening get ripped down and a little bit of Tyvek got tore up. How the porch stayed on with temporary supports, I don't know, but I'm glad it did. Okay, Cole, stop rambling on. Guys, I'm just excited about this. So we're not gonna be able to finish the siding until we get this wraparound porch done. Then once that's done, we're gonna be able to get those new windows put in in the attic and then that red area up top, we're gonna put something a little bit different up there. I don't wanna have to climb up there every few years and paint it, so. We have options. We're not gonna be able to do any of that stuff right now while the ground's frozen, so we're gonna have to wait till it thaws out. So this outside stuff's gonna be stuff coming down the road. Speaking of coming down the road, I might as well just save my plans for the house. We'll just start from the top, then work our way sideways and then down. So the attic is the coolest room I've ever seen in my life. It is just one giant gable vaulted ceiling masterpiece, but needs some TLC. I would really like to remodel the entire attic Make that into some cool studio, living room area. I don't know, the options are endless. And then I wanna remodel the upstairs and the main floor. At the moment, we are rocking knob and tube wiring and essentially the whole house. There is no insulation in it. And uh, the 1980s blue countertops aren't really doing it for me. I wish I could give you a reason why. And speaking of redoing stuff, this garage is shot, as we can see by the rotten hole in the wall. And the fact that I can move it with my hands. So I wanna tear this thing down and then we can build a garage back that's attached to the house. And it's not just gonna be a typical garage. This area is gonna consist of a farm break room, a farm office, and then honestly, I wouldn't really be opposed to making a master bedroom somewhere over here. And we can't forget below it, I wanna put an underground movie theater because why not? And then we're gonna have the garage. You know, just your typical fully decked out, way overkill attached garage to the house. You know, one that has like a car wash in it and you know, all the good stuff. And then as for the basement, we're just gonna get rid of that creepy feel. We'll get the walls painted and cleaned, and then we're gonna epoxy the floor. So as we can see, I pretty much have my work cut out for me. It's just 
a matter of getting started. Now I could start on this main floor, but the only issue is I want to preserve as much of this original wood as I can. It is going to be extremely time consuming to pull all this stuff apart without damaging it. And I only have so much time before farm work starts picking up again. So I want to do the projects where I can get the biggest bang for my buck and get the most done possible. So I have an idea. See this little hallway area that's right off my kitchen? Well, it has a ceiling that's collapsing. And that's because this bathroom that's right above it had a water pipe break. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna gut this little hallway area here. That way we can get these old water lines tore out and then put new ones in. And while we have everything off, we will be able to run wiring from the basement up through this wall, through the bathroom and into the attic. And that's a big deal because we're gonna be able to put a breaker box in the attic and then we can start gutting these rooms. And then when we wanna run new electricity, we just drop it in from the attic instead of having to come up through the walls on the main floor. So I guess first things first is we need to get this bathroom gutted. We need to get the room below it gutted. And honestly, I'm kind of considering tearing out this wall in between here. That way I could have a big bathroom and I could put my washer and dryer in here. This bathroom is a really awkward size. It's basically right at six feet wide and I don't know, maybe 10 feet long. By the time we put in a toilet and a sink, there's really not gonna be a whole lot of room for a shower. So honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe taking a bedroom out from up here. There's five of them already, so I can get away with four. But you know what? We have time to decide that yet. This room's going to be gutted. That room's going to be gutted. So once these are all gutted, we're gonna be able to look right into the other room through the studs anyhow. So I guess we can decide then. So I guess there really ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get started demoing the farm mansion. I found this piece of cardboard. We're gonna put it down so that way it'll kind of protect the floor from any of this plaster that falls. Look at that. Before we get started tearing this out, I have a confession to make. I've never seen this door open. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting angle. That was probably the first time in 35 years this door has been open. I'd say we're off to a good start already. I shut this door just to see if it would shut and now my door's locked. I don't know where the keys are. I guess that's what we have this door for. So how bad my breath smells all the time? Yuck. Well, I think we're ready. This might take a while. <laughs> Stuff's actually coming off a lot better than I initially thought it was going to. Ah. Ooh, putting this back on, it's dusty in here. The ceiling's a little bit messy because stuff falls under you. I'm in kind of a confined area, so I can't really move out of the danger zone yet. But the sidewalls here, I found out you do. If you just beat on the wall, you can break up the structure of this stuff. And so then it just becomes really loose, and then you just gotta tap it like that, and it just all falls off. Kind of fun, actually. Sorry, the filming's not the best. I don't exactly have a lot of area to put the camera where stuff's not gonna fall on it. We're making do with what we got. There's a brick, because that belongs up there.
Oh boy. I didn't think about air blowing underneath the door and then blowing all the dust through the house. I just dusted this two days ago. Yeah. We got all the plaster off. We got all the lath off. We have a really nice pile here now. But I did have to leave a little bit of plaster down here because my pile's in the way. And I left the lath that's above the door here on the exterior wall because I guess they must have put some insulation behind that at some point I'm finding and I'm sure that's like 300% asbestos. So when I tear that down, I'm going to want to have this door fully open and I'm going to want to get that stuff out of here as quick as possible. So we're going to wait until we get this all cleaned up, then we'll get that down. But overall, looking at the condition of the boards behind the lath and plaster, everything seems to be looking pretty good. Underneath the bathtub here, we can definitely tell that a little water maybe got through at some point. And then where that sewer pipe rusted through, we do have a little bit of rottening wood up there. But I don't think it's really enough to hurt anything. We might have to replace that board and then that one. The floorboards for the bathroom are gonna be coming out regardless because we're gonna be putting a new floor up there. Now that we got that room pretty much demoed, I'm gonna pull a dirty move on you guys. <laughs> See what I did there. And we're gonna call it a video right in the middle of a project. If you guys wanna stay tuned for more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the journey of getting this old mansion back to its original glory. Oh, do I just wanna say original glory? Better than the original glory. Actually, the reason why we're cutting it early is the lights in this room don't work and they don't work in that room. Actually, there is no lights in that room and it's gonna be dark pretty soon so you guys aren't gonna be able to see me anyway. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm really excited to get this done. These are gonna be some awesome videos. We're gonna have a lot of content around the house. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.